How to remove a custodian on a stock certificate. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents. We all know that a minor remains a minor after attaining the age of 18 if he has yet to gain control of the securities held in his minor account. Title 31 CFR 363.6 at minor and minor account and 363.27 how to remove the custodian. Here is the information that all of you have been waiting for. I was advised not to give this information to you all. Someone suggested that I should take care of myself first before giving this to you will. As I told all of you I am one of Jehovah's Witnesses. My God is the God who called himself the Almighty, who called himself the God of love. In fact he says he is love. And the Apostle John says those who does not love his brother cannot be living God, because God is love. 1 John 4, 8, and the daily text are Jehovah's Witnesses for this day as the following. Bear the weaknesses of those not strong. Rum. 15, 1. Romans 15, 1-4. 15 We, though, who are strong ought to bear the weaknesses of those not strong, and not to be pleasing ourselves. 2 Let each of us please his neighbor for his good, to build him up. 3 For even the Christ did not please himself, but just as it is written. The reproaches of those reproaching you have fallen upon me. 4 For all the things that were written beforehand were written for our instruction. So that through our endurance and through the comfort from the scriptures we might have hope. Ladies and gentlemen, I have hope. I don't have the hope that I need your help, because when I awoke this morning I prayed to my God. And I specifically asked them regarding the information that you want to below, including typing in the question how to remove the custodian from an account, federal? Because that was my focus, because this is a quote-unquote federal issue. The process is not difficult, however, you just don't get on a horse and start it riding if you've never ridden the horse before. Someone asked to told what you need to understand, what you need to know, you have to approach the horse so that it can get used to whom you is and are, does this not make sense? So, before you all go jumping on this horse, and thinking you can go and do the equestrian, look up for further instructions, look for the particular documents that are available, study them first, and then proceed with caution. Contact Zax.com, ask them if they have any information to help, ask them if they have any advised for you. Some of you are going to be selfish, and I truly do firmly and fully believe that everybody reaps what they sow, but those of you who are my people, you will share your discoveries. So that others might also be helped along the way. Those new who are set packers, please understand that it has taken us three months to do all of the credit and the documents associated with that now we're finalizing the other documents that need to go with those documents. Many of you will be receiving an update. And all of you will shortly start receiving these documents with some instructions and our suggestions as to what one would do to move forward. Do not contact the support department asking, where is my stuff? As they are not able to help you at this time. You will have to continue to be patient as we continue to fulfill our portion of the obligation. Remember none of this was supposed to be done until after the five year mark. Which for many of you began December 2022 and most of you 2023, 2024, 2025. We were not trying to help get people out of anybody's system, we were trying to help you create securities, so that when you accessed your account, you could replace what you were taking out. If you win one million dollars, you can't go and spend one million dollars because that will be broke. You have to be bringing in one million dollars in order to stay even, and you have to bring in more than one million dollars in order to get ahead, we are trying to help you get ahead. And we will provide the adjusted tax forms so as to help you avoid any liability. They tuned. HTTPS slash slash finance dot zax dot com slash remove dash custodian dash stock dash certificate dash one zero nine one zero dot html an adult custodian can control stocks for you until you reach legal adulthood when you're no longer a minor you can assume full ownership of the stocks and instruct the broker to remove the custodian's name from the certificate the process is complete and the certificates adjusted when you submit appropriate documents that verify your age and identity Stock Power Form A Stock Power Form formally instructs your broker to transfer ownership from the custodian to you. This form requires information, such as your full name, address and social security number, the description of the shares and how they are to be reissued, and your signature or that of the former custodian. Write your name as it appears on the stock certificate. If it has changed, also provide your new name. Some institutions require a letter of instruction instead of a stock power form. The letter should contain the same type of information as the form. Stock certificate You must submit the original stock certificate to initiate the change if the stocks are in certificates. You or the former custodian should endorse the certificate where indicated. 
If you're submitting this and other documents by mail, it's best to insure it for at least 2% of the current value and send it with a posting method that you can trace. Birth certificate You must submit a certified copy of your birth certificate if you sign the stock power form or the letter of instruction. You can obtain a certified copy of your birth certificate from your state's Department of Public Health. Some offices accept online requests through a vendor and will mail the certificate to you. W-9 Form Brokers Verify a shareholder's taxpayer identification number with information on the W-9 form. This simple form requires only your name, address and social security number. The W-9 is for U.S. citizens only. Non-citizens complete form wait Ben instead. A failure to submit either one of these forms could subject you to a federal withholding of 30 to 31% of the account value. Brought to you by finance.zax.com.